last of the series of tests I'm going to do between the Aria Alexa, the Red Epic and the Sony F55 is just a standard skin tone test, front lit with diffused lighting. I'm going to add another construct here and I have all my files from our tests in the, each of the categories and I'm just going to do the skin tone tests where we compare a dark skin with a white skin. Okay, and if we take the Red Epic, we take the Aria Alexa, And we take the Sony F55. And I'm just going to call this skin tone. Okay. All right. Once again, we can play all the shots as they are, uh, resetting all their values. one is in a D-log, log on and off. Okay, looking at our images here with um, Patrick and Zelda in frame, I had them turn towards the light and turn away from the light in each of the tests. Okay, look at the Red Epic, when they're away from the light and statistics, you can see the exposure range on Patrick, on the three of them, is really good on a Red Epic, nice skin uh, tone representation, um, a bit of fall off towards the face on the dark side, seeing as it's lit from the one side. As we turn to the front, you can see there's a good exposure range here. I'm not losing it between the hat and the face here a little bit. Um, if we go to magnification, you can kind of see there I'm losing it and it's dead. And I'm starting to get a bit of noise appearing on the edges of his skin. Okay, moving across to Zelda. Uh, nice skin tone representation, not too much noise. There's a bit of good definition between her hair, her hair in the background, but we are losing it uh, in the darker areas uh, of the exposure range here. Let's move along to the Aria Alexa. Lat off and lat on. This is with a lat applied. Obviously with a lat off you can see it's very flat and we've got a good exposure range here, except once again losing it in the front between the jawline here and between the hat. If we go into the image in log, You'll see there's a lot of artifacts and a lot of noise being generated between the two, seeing as remember the exposure is actually for Zelda and not for Patrick. And as we move along and turn the LUT on, you'll see the LUT takes care of the noise, but there is still some noise apparent, especially in the areas between the exposure and the non-exposure. Moving to Zelda, good exposure range, um, LUT off and on. You can see there is detail in the hair that can be brought in in the grade, but with the standard log light on, good color reproduction, good uh, contrast range. Okay, moving along to the Sony F55. Similarly, once again, we can see there is good exposure range between the two. The thing that strikes me straight away first is I'm seeing a bit more here in this area than I saw both on the Alexa and on the F55. Very apparent here, you can see I'm exposing towards the rim of his hatch here more, and I have quite a lot to play with in my exposure um, within my range. There seems to be quite a lot more latitude in the F55 than there is in both the Alexa and the Red Epic. Uh, 